This is All India Radio. In the program spotlight, now we bring you an interview with Ashish Tripathi, CEO of Zar Labs on new breakthrough in cancer diagnosis. The interviewer is AIR correspondent Anand Chaturvedi. Congratulations Mr. Tripathi for this breakthrough in the field of cancer diagnosis. So kindly share some details of the diagnostic technique which your biotech company has developed in order to detect the cancer in very early stages and even one year prior to the growth of the tumor cells. So core to our breakthrough is a specific set of cells that we have been able to isolate in blood for the very first time and we were able to actually make an algorithm out of some markers from these cells which are indicators of early stage of cancer so there are a couple of things that we can do not only can we detect cancer early earlier than any technology because we can detect it prior to tumor formation this is a common test for all cancers this is a prognostic test so not only can it tell you you don't have cancer we can in fact rule out the risk of cancer for the next one year if your hrc marker readings are within a safe zone so we believe that this particular technology will not only help oncologists because we can provide a lot of data from a non invasive process a blood test essentially but we can also detect this disease early when frankly this disease is infinitely more curable and causes a lot less of pain to the patient and their families at large Mr. Tripathi, how is this technique different from the existing diagnostic techniques to detect cancer? Most of the techniques that are available today in the market are invasive techniques. What that means is that they do some sort of invasive procedure. For example, latest research shows that when you do a biopsy, you can speed up the activity of the tumor or the cancer. There are also PET scans and other imaging tests which do have radiation which are significantly higher than normal x-rays so these are invasive procedures that can actually cause some harm to the patient now the latest research is a technique called liquid biopsy where frankly a number of us companies have been trying to develop a blood test but they have not had the success like we have because essentially what they are doing is they are looking for the pieces of the tumor that are circulating in the blood now the problem with that method is that your body has 5.5 liters of blood if i am taking only 5 ml of blood that is only taking a small sample of 0.1% blood and what happens is that if you can see the tumor pieces you know that this person has cancer but if you can't see the tumor pieces you assume that this person doesn't have cancer but in actual fact the problem is that you have taken a very small sample what we are looking at is a cell that actually exists in all of us like if i take a blood sample out from your body or my body it will have white blood cells it will have red blood cells similarly it will have these stem cells it is always present and what we are doing is that we can get a reading when you have cancer and it gives us a reading when you don't have cancer as well so that is the fundamental difference between our methodology and what the american companies are working on and hence our success rates in terms of accuracy have been higher than what these companies have reported You just talked about liquid biopsy also as one of the diagnostic tools to detect cancer. Can you just tell our listeners like in what way you consider it to be better than liquid biopsy actually? Let me put it in another way. They only reading for when the tumor is there. When you don't get a reading, it can mean two things: that the tumor is not there, or in the small sample of blood you took, there was no tumor piece there. so they assume the absence of the tumor piece to indicate that you don't have cancer while what our marker does is it gives you a reading when you have cancer it gives you a different reading by different stages of cancer so it gives me a reading for stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 but it also that same marker gives me reading for all stages of non cancer it tells me you don't have cancer and you don't have risk of cancer for the next year you have imminent risk of cancer within the next one year or so you are going to form a tumor i get a separate reading for all these stages 
and that is why our methodology our marker is significantly superior to what marker that these companies are using to be very candid with you for a cancer screening test none of these has actually passed regulatory approvals for the simple reason that their success rates of detection are not high if you are getting only ctc based methods at early stages there are scientific reports that put the success rate of detecting it at 5% or even lower sometimes so if that is the case how can that become the marker for cancer detection at an early stage now there are companies that are using other methods which are indicating that you can hit 25 to 30% success rate at stage 1 but that is very different from the accuracy that we can achieve where we have in a 1000 patient study not had even one false negative not one false positive Mr. Tripathi, with what certainty can this test actually detect and foretell the occurrence of cancer, or uh, maybe it can diagnose it much beforehand, like you just said, a year before maybe? The data is showing a very, very strong. correlation we are extremely confident about our technology but there is a process laid out so we have done a 1000 patient study which allows us to actually get some regulatory approvals as far as india is concerned but if you are trying to actually make a product that actually wants to enter the western world which is what we want to we'll have to do trials in those countries as well so that is going to be the next step of the process but i want to clarify one particular thing the first rule in medicine is do no harm so when you are talking about medicines or vaccines that are given to people the reality is that you need to be certain the reason you go through phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 trials etc is you want to be certain that it does not do any harm to this person what we are doing is we are just taking a small blood sample so therefore the regulatory approvals for us to get permissions is actually different because what it is going to mean what is going to make this into a success when it is launched it is having success and doctors believe that it is giving them meaningful data so that is where we believe we are not looking at the same kind of testing that actually has to be done for a molecule that is ingested but that said there are certain approvals that you need to do and the company is working on that speaking about the larger good mr dipati what is the benefit that people are going to get through this breakthrough diagnostic technique and what effect is it going to have in their lives this is something that is very heartening for us cancer is as i said a weak disease if you catch it early if you catch it late it causes untold pain on the patient and financial burden on their families and the society at large what we have done is a breakthrough that can detect the cancer early and on all parameters if you look at the amount it costs the patient to recover if you look at the survival rates that the patient is able to defeat this disease on all those parameters if you catch the disease early there is a significant advantage that the patient has versus detecting it late what we envision like i told you is that all of us need to do the chrc test once a year and we will either catch the disease at stage 1 or before when frankly it is lot less expensive lot less painful and where the survival rates for the patient are significantly higher so what we envision as a goal for ourselves we would like to see a world where cancer becomes an early stage disease rather than a late stage disease it will save a lot of lives and that is our mission You just talked about some uh, clinical trials as well Mr Tripathi what was the sample size for the clinical trials that has already been done on this and can you share some of the outcomes as well it was a blind multi center study where we actually just get a blind blood sample with a code on it we were able to detect each and every and the design of the study was there were 500 non cancer patients and there were 500 cancer patients of different stages and different types of cancer we were able to detect each and every non cancer patient they we were able to detect each and every fourth stage cancer patient say they were fourth stage from a blood test we were able to detect each and every third stage cancer patient say they were third stage every second stage every first stage cancer patient what was also interesting was that look in a blinded sample study you are limited by which cancers get sent to you we know technologically why these markers work on all cancers but in a blind sample study you are only limited to the samples that are sent to you there were 25 different types of cancer sent to us but what the oncologists were impressed by is that this particular test is working on solid cancers it is working on blood cancer it is working on sarcomas as well it is working on different 
types of cancer and all the big cancers were there so breast cancer lung cancer prostate cancer pancreatic cancer colon cancer so most of the big ones were looking were already there but we do understand that we have to do a larger study where we will want to cover all cancers there are a little less than 200 cancers known to man and we will make sure that we actually do a test on all of them before we can definitely actually make that specific claim That's really great to know actually Mr. Patti that almost with a 10% of accuracy the test can detect the cancer patients and non cancer patients in what part of the country or where in the world actually these samples were taken can you share some of them with us this was an india study it was a ctri registered study the samples were taken from quite a few cities in maharashtra but uh, also from delhi that's how the study was designed Have you moved for any regulatory approvals at this moment and by what time do you expect to get the approval We are working on it our intent is to launch this service in India this year itself and we have already reached out to some of the regulatory authorities the reality is that the approval process is actually different for medicines that are being ingested versus a diagnostic test and from that perspective we have already reached out to some regulatory authorities and uh, we will be speaking to a lot of others so this particular publication was important because that is something that actually gets evaluated even by regulatory authorities and the media attention that we have got over the last couple of days has also actually helped us in terms of knowledge of our breakthrough being known in india i want to say that we are proud of the fact that this breakthrough has been made by indian scientists and given the fact that the clinical trials were actually conducted in india we believe that this is the market where we are actually going to launch the service first and we are making progress mr tripathi there is a small section of researchers which have always raised certain kind of questions on the basic foundation on which this diagnostic technique is based how do you respond to their objections i think what you're alluding to is the debate in the stem cell world around the classification of certain cells what are breakthrough is but most of that research was actually done on cells that have actually been found in tissue we were the first to actually isolate it in peripheral blood or from a blood sample as we have taken images we have actually studied these cells we have actually studied these markers we are very clear on the existence of these cells but what really matters for a company or for a test like this to get approval is whether that marker is act- actually giving you the requisite result in science there's always going to be debate but the fact is that we are very very clear once we've taken images once we've studied those cells we are pretty clear on the existence of these cells but what really matters is whether that marker is actually linking and giving interesting results as far as screening for cancer and non cancer is concerned the discovery of the very small embryonic like stem cells yields with what you were referring to have been put to a diagnostic application in this technique can you tell us like what are the further possible applications where vsels can be put to use there are researchers in the us that are interested in looking at therapeutic use of these cells we because of our breakthrough are really concerned around the diagnostic use of these cells and the fact is that early days but the reality is that we are able to actually provide not just the screening application for the cancer we are also able to tell you which cancer and where it is growing from a blood test and we don't want to make too many statements on that just yet but because there are clinical trials on for that particular piece but our early studies are actually indicating that we can do that quite accurately and if you can do that through a non invasive process like a blood test you can imagine how applicable that is for oncologists and also for patients by when can people actually expect this test to be made available in the market any particular timeline that you're looking at we are looking at it being launched in india this year itself this is the first market where this product is going to be launched and it's something that we are very proud of there's an emotional reason for us as a family and like numerous others who've lost someone important because of this disease and we believe that we can make a real difference to the lives of people suffering from this disease thank you very much mr tripathi thank you you were listening to an interview with ashish tripathi ceo of zar labs on new breakthrough in cancer diagnosis the interviewer was air correspondent anand chaturvedi this program was produced and presented by the news services division of all india radio you can listen to it on our mobile app 
न्यूज ऑन ए आई आर दिस प्रोग्राम इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ऑन आर वेबसाइट न्यूज ऑन ए आई आर डॉट कॉम यू मे ई मेल योर ओपिनियन अबाउट दिस प्रोग्राम एट ए आई आर एन एस डी टॉक्स एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम